Welcome back to Griffin Art and Airbrushing. I'm glad you could join me today as we take a look at a Pache VL airbrush, also known as the workhorse of airbrushes. A lot of t-shirt airbrush artists use them, and I've actually had mine for over 30 years. And if you take care of them, they last a very long time. So this is the schematic sheet. And that doesn't look very fun to go over, does it? I mean, that would take like a long time. We would go over every single part. That doesn't look like fun, does it? Well, good news. I've taken this apart for you so you can see it. This is the Pache VL, the workhorse of the airbrush industry. I love using my VL, even in my fine art paintings. Um, it's great for t-shirts, car tags, so many things. I think there's even people that decorate cakes with them. Um, it is a double action airbrush, um, which means that you have the ability to press the trigger down and back to adjust the size and width of the spray that comes out the front. So when you get your Pache VL, it's going to have a cap on the front. This is the head protecting cap. I totally toss these away, put them aside. I don't use them. I mean, if you want to protect the needle when you walk away from your airbrush, it's a good thing to put it back on. So this is an air cap. This is the air cap body. This will screw onto the top of that, and then this is the tip, and this is the shell assembly. Now in here is a valve that you could also take out. I did not take that out um, for this video. Uh, basically you just need a little flathead screwdriver and the whole little valve assembly comes out along with a tiny little spring, which I don't feel like losing today, so there you go. And then this is the trigger from top to bottom here. I took the finger button off of the top of it. It just screws in right there. And this is the finger lever. The lever pivot, which is a little hinge. And this goes back and forth right here at the bottom. That aids in your double action part of everything. Um, pulling back on the trigger makes your spray wider, back and down I should say, because you're pulling back on an airbrush trigger and pressing down to create sort of a vacuum and a siphon to pull paint through the airbrush. Your paint bottle would be attached here, so your paint comes through and uh, this pulls the needle back and forth so that you either have a wide spray or a very small tiny line of spray. That's why when you first start airbrushing people say practice your dagger strokes. Dagger strokes are pretty much key in airbrushing. Um, anyway back to the parts. Uh, finger button like I said, took that off, and then the lever, lever pivot, and that's called the piston at the bottom there. Here we have the rocker assembly, right here, and the spring slides right onto the back of that rocker assembly. Needle adjusting sleeve, that goes over the spring, and the spring is over this, 
So this goes on the back of your airbrush. And by tightening this, you can increase the tension on the spring. And that's usually whatever's comfortable for you kind of thing. Some people like a lot of tension, some people don't. And then here's the lock nut that goes on the back and that holds everything together. This is the needle, goes through the entire airbrush. The tip of this needle ends up, where am I? Ends up coming out through here. So you have to be careful with this tip when you're airbrushing. You don't want your needle to go all the way through the end or anything. Um, that's a good reason to use the handle here so that if you dropped your airbrush, the needle would not hit the ground and jam all the way through your gun or your airbrush here. So we've got the handle and the needle and the needle comes in three sizes. I wanted to mention that you've got size one, three, or five. And I use three. I've always used three to paint t-shirts, to paint car tags. Even in my fine art, I use good old three. And there you have it. Time to put it back together, I guess. Maybe I'll clean it first. It was an eBay purchase. Um, someone else used this before I did. They probably used it quite a bit, but uh, I'm not sure what they used it for. It was dirty, but it wasn't seized up or anything. And when I say seized up, I mean th there wasn't dried paint inside of it or anything. So it was easy to take apart, but it is kind of dirty. Why did I buy it off of eBay? Well, I needed parts for my other airbrushes. Sometimes it's cheaper to buy a whole Pache VL used on eBay if you need some parts. Sometimes you, it's kind of hard to find them though, especially in good condition. Anyway, I think I paid $35 for this or less, maybe less, $25, something like that. All right. Thanks for joining me. See you in the next video.